Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 11 build 22533. This build includes major changes and enhancements, well specifically one major change and enhancement that I think is going to change the game for operating systems in general. This has been a long time coming, 10 years in fact, but today with build 22533, Microsoft finally did it. They finally updated the volume UI that pops up when you press a physical key to change the volume. There it is everybody. It's finally happened. Microsoft finally got around to updating this UI that for so long was based on, you know, the Metro interface that was first introduced with Windows 8. When Windows 11 first shipped, they forgot to update it. But hey, look, they finally updated it with build 22533. So in addition to controlling the volume, this also changes brightness as well. So the same UI pops up there if I change the brightness on my laptop. Uh, and that's pretty fantastic. Now, of course, this doesn't replace the dedicated volume UI down here. You can still control the volume and brightness there like that as well. This is literally just for, you know, tablets tablets and laptops with dedicated volume and brightness controls on the keyboard or on the edge of the device, say a Surface Pro, that has a dedicated volume rocker. So when you press up and down on those buttons, this UI will now pop up and it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can also use your cursor to, to control this as well. So if I come down here, I can adjust it like that as well if I really wanted to, though I think most people will just be using the buttons because that's what it's intended for. So there you are, that's a quick look at the new volume UI and brightness UI uh, on Windows 11, pretty fantastic. Uh, and there's only one more sort of UI change really uh, that's new since the last time we did a video and that's with the Alt Tab UI. So if I open up a bunch of apps here, just to get a feel for things. And then I hit Alt Tab, instead of uh, blurring out the entire screen and showing me at my all of my open windows, it will now just do it in like a mini panel like so, so I can switch between them like that. And uh, that looks kind of nice. It's a, a cleaner looking interface and it doesn't get in the way of um, all of the stuff that's happening on your desktop. Because before this sort of blurred um, border would span the entire display. And I thought that looked nice, but Microsoft has now made it smaller, made it look more like a sort of windowed panel, which also looks just as nice, I think. Uh, we can close windows through here as well, of course, and all of that fancy stuff. So there you have it. That's really a quick look at build 22533. Not much going on uh, right now in the Insider program since the last build video we did. Um, st still early days. We've got uh, a handful of more months before this next release is finalized. So um, still plenty of time for new features to pop up. But until then, thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.